Anytime you're in a folder view where you get the headers, like the headings for my inbox, the messages down below, who it's from, the subject received, and so on, I want to show you how you can sort those headers, and in this case, the messages, so it can be sorted by, well, the defaults received, but sort it by other column headers, either ascending or descending, or you can group them or ungroup them, and as well as how to add and remove columns, because if you don't use, like, the size column, and it's just taking up valuable space, I can show you how to remove it, as well as add additional columns that aren't available that you don't see here. You may find one of interest, but we'll go over that in just a minute. So first of all, let's go ahead and do the sorting. Anytime you see a column with an arrow pointing down, that means it's sorting, in this case, all these email messages by the receive column when we receive the messages descendingly. So arrow down is descending, which means if it's sorting it alphabetically, it's going to go from the lower end of the alphabet Z's all the way up to the A's. If it's numbers, it goes from the larger number all the way down to the smallest number. So if I want to flip that, and in this case, well, it's sorting by the most recent email message to the older ones, and I want to be able to flip that to go to the older ones down to the most recent, just click on it, and it flips the arrow. And now I have the older messages down to the most recent. And if I want to sort it by size, go ahead and click on it. And the default when you click on it is descending, so it goes from, well, in this case, the numbers, from largest to smallest. Now, if you can't see this being sorted by size, it's because the column is too small and it can't display that arrow. Just go ahead and hover over in between the two column headers until you can see arrows pointing in opposite directions. Then just go ahead and click and drag it out. Or you can double click to do what's called a best fit. So it fits everything within the column to the largest within the column, which includes the size and the drop down arrow, the sort by. So now we can see it. You can do it that way, just by clicking and sorting by subject, received, back to where we started, or you can come up here and click on the View tab, because when it comes to looking at our views and customizing it, that makes sense, View, and you can come to the Arrangement group, and you get the option to reverse the sort, but there's no sense in telling you that, because you already know how to do it just by clicking on that column header again, but if you don't have the column headers and the options available, well, go ahead and reverse it, and it flips it, reverse it back, and we're back to where we started. You can also click on the Arrange By, click on the drop-down arrow. Right now it's by date, which is received. I can do it by subject, and you can see the arrows pointing up, so it's ascending, the A's all the way down to, well, the RE's don't count. It looks at the subject, not at the reply here, and down to, well, S, then T's. And you can click on the drop-down arrow, and if you want to do what's called a consecutive sort, you can come down here and click on View Settings, or you can come up here on the same tab, but in a different group, you get the same feature there, view settings. In any case, both will open up the window where we can do what's called consecutive sorts. So in other words, if I want to be able to sort more than one column at the same time, I can't do it by clicking on one because it updates to the other. So to do two or more, then either, like I said, click on the arrange, go down to view settings, or just come over here. Let me click off and click on view settings. And in the advanced view setting window, you can click on, there you go, sort. And you can see it's set up to the date or the receive column descendingly. Click on it, and you can flip it here, go ascending, but hey, you can just go ahead and click on the column header, and it does ascending. So after you sort it by that, you can then sort it by another column. What I'm going to do here is change that and say, I want to be able to sort by, scroll down, and obviously there's more items to sort than what I see within the window, so I just need to find out the one that I have in the window that I want to sort by, and it was by subject. So that's ascending. So it's going to take my conversation that had all those highs in it, and when it sorts them, all the H's will be together, you know, the high conversation. And then after it sorts them and it's got all those together, or grouped together, because of the sort, then I can say once it's sorted together, let's go ahead and do it by received. And let's do descending. So that way, in that conversation, I'll have it going from the most recent message in the conversation to the oldest. So let's go ahead and click OK, click OK. And now I got two arrows, one for the subject, one for the received. But it's first going to sort by subject. And so it groups all the H's together. And within that group, then it's going to sort by when it's received. And it's going to be descending. So you got the arrow pointing down as opposed to the arrow pointing up ascendingly, you know, A's disease. Well, now, within this group right here, after it sorts it and groups it together, it comes over here and it says, okay, with this conversation, or those emails that have the same subject, then you can see that there's the most recent. 
252, and then it goes down to older ones or messages that I received earlier, and this is the latest here. And then to go ahead and reset this and clear this out, well, you can just go ahead and click on one, and it clears out the consecutive sorts or additional sorts. So we're now just back to one. And then next, how about grouping? Because by default, it's going to be grouped. Let me show you. You can come up here, click on Arrange By, and go down to Show in Groups. When I select that, it groups them by today, Thursday, Wednesday, the days of the week, until it gets to whatever happened last week, and then anything older than that, whatever happened last month, and so on. So if I want to go ahead and ungroup that, these groups are kind of fun because you can collapse it and say, well, I want last week in there, but I don't want to see it. And then you can go ahead and expand it. So to go ahead and clear it, come up here, click on Arrange By, and just uncheck Show in Groups. Now, you can find a shortcut if you're not on the View tab to be able to get up the View settings. Like if you're on the Home tab and you're like, I don't want to come up here, you don't have to. If you want to go ahead and right-click anywhere on one of the column headers, right-click on it, and you get your Range By to sort it. You can also reverse the sort, remove the column, which we'll go over in just a minute. And then you got your view settings as well. Click on that where we can go ahead and, well, you got your group by, click on it. And by default, that will be checked. And it'll go back to what we saw before when it had it grouped by the email messages for today, then the days of the week, and then last week and last month. And you can get more particular if you want to be able to group the items by subject, show field and view, ascending, click OK, click OK. And now it's got all the highs together. And well, that's the only thing that has the same subject. Otherwise, it's broken up into all its own subjects. And I go, oh, that's a mess. Well, let's go ahead and clean this up. I'm going to come up here and I can right click on it. Again, one of the headers, go down to view settings, and then click on group by, and then just click clear all. And so it's got it to none. When I click OK, OK, we're back to where we started. And then to add or remove columns, well, we can come back up here and click on the View tab and go to the current view, click on View Settings, and you get the column option. Click on Columns, and you can add them over here to show to the ones that are being shown here. Click Cancel, click Cancel, or you can come up here on the View tab, go to the Arrangement group, and click Add Columns, and it brings up the same window. So you've got a list of the most frequently used fields down below. Choose what you want. Go ahead and add it over to the right. How about due date? Click Add. And if I want to get rid of, like, maybe the importance, which is up here. It's got the exclamation point. Select it. Click Remove. Click OK. The exclamation point's been removed, the importance. And then the due date over here, well, you can barely see it. It's squished up. But you can hover in between the two column headers and click and drag to give it more room or shrink it up just a little bit. You can also just click on the column header and drag it down. When you see the X, let go, and it gets rid of it. And then if you made a bunch of changes and you're like, oh, I'd rather reset the whole entire view, well, up here on the View tab in the current view, click on Reset View. Are you sure you want to reset this to its original settings? Yes. And OK, it resets everything. So now I have the Reading Pane turned on. So I can click on the Reading Pane, turn it off and then click on Arrange, and don't show it in groups. A couple extra clicks, and I'm back to where we started. Of course, by the same token, not only can you click and drag them off, but you can also click and drag them around and put it in between to rearrange the order. But you could have done that when you clicked on Add Columns, and uh, it's kind of ghosting out a little bit and getting some residual effects. So Categories is right there, and I can go ahead and move it down back to where it was and click OK, and it moves back. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.